I think the big risk in title lending is that the loan contracts are very complicated and it's hard for anyone to figure out what the payments are going to be. So there's been very little work on how people use the loans, how, to what extent people are losing their cars. And as far as the legal landscape for title lending, it's really sort of the Wild West. So it's been all different kinds of state regulations. Some states really have very minimal regulations. They're essentially like a pawn shop loan. Several states have banned title loans. Other states essentially have very minimal restrictions on title loans. Even certain cities are considering ordinance, ordinances restricting title lending. And so right now I felt like it was prime time to start thinking about, well, what are the true facts about title lending rather than just the perceptions that are out there that I think are often mistaken. I spent hours trying to figure out these loan contracts that your average customer couldn't figure out. So I think the big risk to customers in title lending is that it's a very complicated contract. That's quite different than payday loans, which people perceive as quite similar. They're both very expensive loans used by low-income consumers. Payday loans are very expensive, but they're very transparent. So you, um, it's a short loan. You owe $100 in interest in two weeks, but there's no tricks behind it. It's very salient. Title loans are very complicated, confusing contracts. One of the big surprises I found studying title lenders was that the lenders charge a wide range of interest rates. So really shopping around makes a lot of sense. That's different than in other markets like payday loans. Pretty much across the board, people are charging the same interest rates. So if you are considering a title loan, you should shop around and you can even negotiate the terms of your loan.